They're usually good entertaining games with open games and Watford will be looking tonight, you know, to try and take advantage of um, any problems that Bournemouth have had. They've lost players out of the back line and it'd be interesting to see if they do go with a back four or a three. Bournemouth, good going forward, good attacking lineup, very attacking lineup. They've got one defensive midfielder in there in Lerma. So that's uh, another area where I think if we could get midfield runners going into the box, arriving at a good time, you might get some joy from that as well. Corey continues his run, here he is, and he feeds Semmer, and Semmer's round the back, and Semmer chips the cross up. Deeney with the header down, Deeney with the goal! Brilliant stuff from Watford. Wonderfully worked down the right-hand side between Decore and Femenia. Semmer it was that delivered the cross. Inch perfect for Troy Deeney to head powerfully down to Begovic's left. That's the ball back and it'll come to Fraser, straight at Foster. Delefeu runs at Nathan Ake, Dini up in support, Delefeu still going, he's round Ake, runs into Cook, but he'll fall for Dini, and Dini makes it too! Troy Dini doubles Watford's lead, Delefeu did the donkey work up to the edge of the box, as he was tackled, the boy ball fell for Dini, who first time struck it beyond Begovic, into the back of the net, and with 26 and a half minutes, played at the Vitality Stadium, it's two for Troy Dini, it's two for Watford. Here's Decore bursting towards the edge of the penalty area. Cuts it back. Decore on the edge of the box. Goes for the curler. Oh, it's just a foot too high. Fraser chips the free kick in, looking for Cook at the far post. Heads it back across goal. And it's said, oh, what a save from Cook. Foster, but Nathan Ake on the rebound. Nods the ball home. Fraser dummies it. Here comes Daniels. He dummies it. It's Fraser again, who tees it in towards the penalty spot. Wilson with the header. It's 2-2! Two, two. What a first half here in the Vitality Stadium and Callum Wilson equalises for Bournemouth. Foster's clearance. Deeney helps it on. Here's Semmer. Semmer with the shot. It's 3-2! Unbelievable stuff here in the Vitality Stadium. A first Watford goal for Swedish international Ken Semmer. Thumped home from the edge of the penalty area. And just when Bournemouth were bouncing and Watford were wobbling, the tables turn again. We'll be looking forward to half time and hold on because here's Fraser edge of the box. 3-3! Ryan Fraser! Watford carved open! And Fraser this time makes no mistake from the edge of the penalty area. That's inside Holobas, curls it towards the far post. He's headed down and just wide! But wow, it has been non stop since 8 o'clock. Six goals in a crazy first 45 minutes. Looking for Wilson who tries to turn the ball, cannons off Cathcart and goes behind for a Bournemouth corner. Poor ball from Gosling, intercepted by Cleverly and then Gosling clatters into Cleverly. And Watford react. 
He won the ball and it's a yellow for Gosling. Looking for King. And got, what a save from Foster. Tips it over the bar from Callum Wilson's header from point blank range. Hughes, cushions of volley for Cleverly, finds Dini. Dini edge of the box, feeds Delefeo. Delefeo shot! Wide of the right hand post. Begovic made the dive, which I think made it look a little closer from our angle. Cleverly takes a touch, curls it in, looking for Dini. Dini with the header. Well, it's in, but he's a judge to have fouled Nathan Ake. And Bournemouth have a free kick inside their own penalty area. to Cleverly on the edge of the penalty area. Oh, Cleverly goes down and it's not given again and Watford furious and Bournemouth look to break. Headed away by Cook inevitably. There's the full-time whistle. Well, it was a cracking first half. It was slightly quieter in the second period. Ben Foster, the star of the show in the second 45 for the Hornets, keeping Bournemouth at bay and earning his side a point. Click here for more videos.